Hello and welcome to QQ Catalyst. Today's video is going to cover how to create, print, and view invoices and taking a payment on a policy in the system. Now since we indicated that this policy was agency bill and that it was paid in full, we can see under the customer account that we're waiting to collect the down payment from the customer and it's for the full amount of the premium. Now when we had activated the policy by issuing it, the system did prompt me if I wanted to take a payment or print an invoice and I had skipped those steps to return to the policy so I could show you where you could print an invoice or take a payment from the policy screen directly as well. When we're viewing the billing tab, I do have the option to print an invoice directly from the associated bill. There's a link right here. You also have that option under the bill pay from the drop down menu at the top toolbar. I can select to print an invoice. We will go through a short workflow for creating this invoice. You'll see here the bill that the system had created automatically for the down payment once we issued the policy and I can put a check mark next to that bill. If I needed to create the invoice for a bill that has not been entered into the system yet, I could create the new bill and have the invoice created at the same time. I can click next to go to the next step in the workflow. And here for the bill information, we're going to indicate who we are sending this invoice to. The customer is selected by default, but if I needed to send this to an additional interest, I can select from my list of certificate holder or lien holders in the system. I could also put other and I could type in the full name and to the attention of address for whoever this bill needs to be created for. Any notes that you would want to have appear on the printed invoice we could indicate here and then we could click finish for the system to generate the invoice. So the invoice has been generated. I can click here to view the printed invoice right now. A copy of this invoice is automatically created and put into the files tab under the customer or policy it's related to. So if I do click OK without viewing the printed invoice, I can always access it at a later time. Let's go ahead and click to view. So our invoice is going to open up in a separate window. So you'll want to make sure you have your pop-up blockers allowing pop-ups from QQ Catalyst. We'll see the agency information and the customer information here, information on the policy and the bill, and any of the notes that we had wanted to include would be displayed down here as well. I can choose to save or print a copy of this invoice and I can close this window when I no longer need it. We can then click OK still to return to the policy and note that it redirects us to the files tab and as I mentioned a copy of that invoice is automatically attached to the customer and policy so if I need to bring up a copy of this again we can do so now once the invoice has been sent out and the customer is ready to make a payment we can take a payment by going up to the bill pay option in the toolbar at the top and selecting the take a payment option from the menu Again, Catalyst will take us through a quick workflow where we can select the bill that we're taking the payment against, and I can click Next. If there's any agency fees to charge with this bill, we can click here to add as many fees as we need. The list of agency fees is set up in your global preferences by your system administrator. And the last step in the workflow is the payment details. We can see the down payment amount that we're collecting, any additional fees that we're charging and collecting at this time, and then the total amount here listed below. I can indicate the payment method. If it was a check, we could indicate the check number, so you'll see the notes field change. If we are directly uploading the premium payment to the carrier's website, I can check the direct upload box. This is going to split out any agency fees, allowing me to collect those as a different payment method. So if the premium was paid in check and the $10 agency fee was paid in cash, we can split those payments out. And I can click finish. Again, you can include any notes that will appear on the receipt. So the system will generate you a receipt once you have recorded the payment. So again, I can click here to view the printed receipt, which will open up in a separate window. And when I'm done, I can click OK to return to the policy. So this would be a copy of our receipt. We can see our agency fee separated from the policy premium here. And the payment details will show that we took those in two different payment methods. Again, I can print a copy or save a copy. And I can close this window when I'm done and click OK to return to the policy. Just like when we generated the invoice, a copy of the receipt is automatically created and saved under the Files tab for the specific customer and policy. So I can always get another copy of that here.
Also, just like with the invoice, if we look at the billing tab, we'll now see the amounts that we've received from the customer listed under the customer's account. And you'll notice the balance up at the top right is now at zero. What I wanted to point out here is that you can also access the receipt for payments that you've received directly from the billing tab, just like we were able to generate an invoice directly from the bill that it's associated to. If we take a look at our carrier commission account under the billing tab, we'll see the amount of commission that we were waiting to receive has been reconciled as received. Because this was an agency billed account, we didn't have to do any reconciliation. We were keeping our commission up front once we collected the down payment of the premium. So if we take a look next at the carrier premium category, we can see the amount of premium that is waiting to be sent out to the carrier and notice that it is the total amount less our commission so we're just sending the remainder or the net amount of premium as we had indicated when we set up the policy as agency bill now when we are ready to indicate that we have forwarded this premium amount on to the carrier we can actually click right on the link here that has the carrier's name or the MGA or broker listed if there's one applied on this policy. We can see the balance amount that's owed and I can click on the link to connect to the reconciliation page for this carrier for premium that needs to be sent.